Say, what's up, YouTube? You're not going to say, what's up? Mm -hmm. Say, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> what's going on, y'all? So I'm finally about to do the dad sauce. I know y'all been waiting, but I'm about to get it done. So I'm about to show y'all all the ingredients that you're going to need um, for the sauce. It's very, very simple, but we're about to get into it. Say, dad sauce. Dad, dad. <laughs> all right, y'all. We'll be right back. We're going to be doing the dad yeah. sauce. It's a mayo based sauce. So it's for like fried meal, foods daddy. and um, like fried seafood or chicken or whatever. Whatever you want to try it on. It's really, really good on seafood though. So it's a mayo base. Okay. You can use whatever mayo you choose to, but I'm using Miracle Whip. Um, other people use Hellman's or Dukes or whatever, but use whatever you want. So I'm using Miracle Whip. Okay. I got sweet chili sauce, mm, red hot. Good. I got some white vinegar, yeah. mm -mm. garlic powder. Mm -mm. I, I, I can't see. like red powder. This is yucky. Garlic powder. No one good. Black pepper. Yeah. Mm -mm. I got some sriracha here. Yeah. No. Paprika. Butter. It is. You're only gonna need a tablespoon of butter. Mm. So I got melted. You need it melted. Yeah. So you need a melted tablespoon of butter. Um, Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. You're gonna fall. Huh? Don't do that. You're gonna fall. I want. I want your popcorn. Okay. <laughs> and then right here, mm -mm. I have some cut up green onions. All right. So I'm going to mix it all together for you guys. I will be back. All right, y'all. So I'm back and I'm about to do this dash sauce for y'all. So I forgot to say that we needed sugar. Domino sugar is what I use. But you only need three. Um, teaspoons. You need garlic powder. All right, so I'm gonna start off with your bowl that you're gonna use. <clears throat> I forgot where I put my spoon. Whatever, I'll use this big spoon. Now I feel like it's good to put your seasonings in because you're going to mix a lot. So all your seasonings will be mixed right on in if you put your seasonings in after you put the mayo. So this right here is a half teaspoon. So I'm going to use two to equal one because I can't find my measuring spoons for nowhere. I don't know what that's about. So that's two of the pepper. <clears throat> then I'm gonna do paprika. One, two, paprika. I hope y'all can see clear. Maybe I should have put it here. It's gonna be garlic. Everybody loves garlic. One, two. It don't matter if you put a little more. It's seasoning to your liking. So you can go as crazy as you want with the seasonings if you choose to. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and add the sugar in now. Three. All right, y'all, so far in this bowl, I have mayo, sugar, paprika, garlic, and pepper, okay? We're almost there. It's very simple. All right, next we're gonna use one tablespoon of sriracha. Like 
Is that yet? Then I'm gonna need one tablespoon of the sweet chili sauce. Red hot sweet chili sauce. <clears throat> A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Teaspoon of white vinegar. Tablespoon of melted butter. So here's the sauce. So far, we're gonna mix everything together. Now, after you mix everything together and you taste it, you can add more of whatever you want. So I'm gonna add a little more vinegar because the consistency is very thick and I wanna thin it out a little bit. So you add more vinegar to it. Then I'm gonna add just a little more sweet chili sauce to it. Now I'm gonna add my green onions. Here. I'm just gonna fold it together. Oh, so the sauce is done. This is how it looks. Mm. Hope y'all can see it. Y'all, so I have the sauce here. I'm about to put it in the refrigerator. Now, the uh, ingredients below is just a mild flavor. It's not that spicy. Now, I recommend if you taste it and it's not as spicy as you would like it, to go back and add some more sriracha to the sauce. The sriracha, uh, sriracha, sriracha sauce. The sriracha sauce is what makes it hot and spicy. That and the vinegar, if you want it a little more spicy. Now, if you make it a day ahead and just set it in the refrigerator, everything is going to get all mixed together and it's going to taste so much better. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making this a day ahead. So I'm going to put this video out right now, even though it's late. It's almost 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock p.m. I'm going to put the video out today. And I'm going to eat the sauce tomorrow in a mukbang or the next day in a mukbang. Not sure. Hope you like it.